All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am gonna do my summer powder foundation routine. I felt like it was important to do this routine because this is different than my regular powder foundation routine that I wear um, in colder months or in the fall. In the summertime, it gets really, really hot. And so I have to do some different uh, techniques to get it to stay on better and to hold up throughout the day, through the heat, humidity, sweat, all of that jazz. So with that being said, I'm just gonna hop into it um, and start doing what I need to do. Um, I don't have anything on because I think it's important to go through all the steps um, to explain it. So I'm gonna use the Kosas uh, concealer here and I'm in the shade 3.5. Um, I only do a little bit of concealer, so I just do dots because um, you don't need a ton. This concealer really, really spreads out. I also prefer to do just a little patting motion with my ring finger. concealer is blended in. I'm just going to take some of the hourglass powder and I like to use kind of a rounded brush. I'm going to get a little bit of product there. You don't have to get tons, but just a little bit. And then I'm going to set my under eye. I find by doing this extra step, my under eye just is set and it looks a little bit better. Um, I realize I'm gonna do more makeup, but um, for some reason, this extra step really makes a huge difference in my under eye game. It makes me look brighter and just overall a nicer um, looking under eye. Then next, I like to take, um, you can use any translucent powder. I just happen to use this one. This is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in Original. This one has extra SPF. It's SPF 25. Um, they do make one without SPF as well, um, and even a hydrating one. So if you're someone who has drier skin, you have that option. Um, and then I just take kind of a fluffy brush. This one is from Bare Minerals. And I just kind of go in with my brush, and then I start putting the powder just all over my face before I do anything else to my face. You wanna make sure you focus on areas that you have more trouble, such as your T-zone or any spots that do get oily through the day. It'll make a huge difference. And you can do a little bit of powder or a lot. It's not gonna change how your makeup um, looks once it's on so don't be worried. I'm going to use Makeup Forever, the matte velvet skin. I'm in the color Y335 if you guys are curious and I'm just going to go in with my sponge and start putting it on. Okay, once my powder foundation is on, I am good to go with that part of it. I've already set my under eyes with the hourglass powder, and then I just kind of go back in with that brush with whatever's left and kind of clean up underneath. And then I go into my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette, and I use the banana shade here, and I just pop that under my eyes again. I do a lot to make my under eyes look really bright. I could just use a brighter concealer, but I found that this method works best for me. And then I go in with a product by Kevin Aquan. This is the Candlelight. If you guys can still find this, this is amazing. I go under my eyes with that as well. 
it just adds something extra for me. Um, it takes out any kind of discoloration under my eyes, which is usually from my blood veins, not really discoloration from dark circles. Um, so that is why I do that. Those are two optional steps. It's not going to make a difference um, in your routine whatsoever. It's just the preference and how I like my under eyes to look. Next, I go in with, this is Tarte's Park Avenue Princess Waterproof Face and Body Bronzer. Um, I got the huge one. Um, you, it's not necessary to buy the huge one. They do make a regular size, but I got the huge one because this is my go-to summer bronzer. Um, in the summer, I tend not to do contouring. I tend to just do bronzer um, in a very similar fashion as far as like the technique goes. It's just the color's a little different. Um, I draw an easy three on my face and that is how I like to do it. I always concentrate most of the color at the top of my ear to the hollow of my cheek, just like you would contouring. Um, I don't typically like my bronzer um, on my nose or the middle of my face. Some people do that. It's just not something I like to do. I always do a little on the jaw just because um, I want to look like I've had some time out in the sun, especially because my body gets very tan, but my face doesn't. So it makes a huge difference for me. So that is the Tarte uh, Waterproof Bronzer. It does make a difference to use a waterproof bronzer, especially in the summer when you're hot and sweaty. You want to use products that are not going to like melt down and fall apart on you. I'm not a huge fan of cream products at all. So if you're looking for a cream product, this isn't really the video for you. If you're looking for long lasting uh, makeup uh, that's powder, this is definitely for you. Next, I go with my blush, which is called Orgasm X. Uh, this is by NARS. Yes, it looks like an absolutely insane color, but you will see here um, how easy I make it look. It's not nearly as scary. It's all about application and how much you want on. Um, I find that this blush just gives me like the best California girl sun-kissed um, look. I just look like I've lived my best life as Malibu Barbie and I just love the color. You don't have to go with a color this bright, but I do find in the summertime a brighter blush. It just gives a better overall look, especially because you are tan or you at least want to give the appearance of being tan. And I like a lot of blush. I take it all the way up to my hairline. You don't have to do that. I just find that it lifts the cheek and it makes you look a little more uh, youthful. So that's why I do it. Then I take that brush that I was using before with um, all my powders on it and I just kind of clean up any area that I think needs it. So I look more blended. Um, that's a personal preference. Everyone has their preference on how they like to wear their blush, but I like a little bit more as you can see. Then I'm gonna go to my last step. Um, unfortunately, they don't make this anymore, but this is the Marc Jacobs um, and it is their Omega Glaze Highlighter. Um, I stocked up on these because it is my absolute favorite highlighter. Yes, it's the size of my head, um, but it's just the perfect like rose gold peach color for my skin. So that is why I choose this. Um, I go in with a brush and I just do, I start at my hairline and kind of work it way through my cheek. I like a lot of highlighters, some people don't, but I do. So again, highlighter is all a preference. I get some people are on this like no highlighter trend again or less highlighter, like the barely there highlighter. If you want a good highlighter, but you don't want to look like you have a lot of highlighter on, again, I think the Hourglass would be your best bet or even um, like Charlotte Tilbury products just because it has that very lit from within look opposed to like shiny or glittery highlighter. I like a little bit more than that. Um, and then I always dust my highlighter over my eyes. Everyone always asks whatever I have on my eyes and um, it's just my highlighter. 
I don't do anything particularly special um, with that, but that is what I do. So I have my mascara and my lip products on. I don't like to do mascara on camera. I do have a video on how I wear my mascara. If you want to, you guys can check that out as well. Um, I do need to do the last step of this routine, which it is extremely extremely important. You cannot skip this step no matter what time of the year, but especially in summer. This is the Urban Decay, the All Nighter. This is just a makeup setting spray. It's going to help keep your makeup on. It also is going to help make all that powder look more skin-like. If you feel like I look a little bit um, overdone, it's because it's a lot of powder, but it's going to be helpful as I start to heat up and sweat and get hot um, while I'm out on my summer adventures. Okay, once I spray my face, once I spray my face, I do like to fan it. Um, again, don't have to do this step. I just find that it's easiest for me if I fan it. It is a fine mist. It will dry perfect. It's not going to look like you've got little spots all over your face, so don't be worried about that. Okay, and that's it. And my makeup can easily stay on 10 to 12 hours. I have absolutely no issues. I'll get minimal shining through my, through my T-zone, which is common for me because I have oily skin. Um, basically, how and why this is working is I'm using that translucent powder before pa before my foundation. Um, this is a theater trick, a drag queen trick, just an old school makeup trick. Um, it's basically helping absorb oil underneath the surface and kind of sandwiching your makeup to your face. It's extremely important to do so. Um, sometimes I even put this on top of my powder foundation. So I do under and then on top. So it's like fully sandwiched in there. Um, I don't feel like I need to do that today. Um, because I feel like the powder foundation I'm using is more than enough to make that happen, but you totally could do that step as well if you want. It's like just the sandwich method, but it works so well. Um, I've constantly getting people asking me, oh my God, how's your makeup staying on? What, what foundation are you using? And then when I tell them I have powder foundation on, they're always a little dumbfounded and surprised because they just assume that it's a liquid and that that's why it's staying on my skin and it's complete opposite. Um, I have combination acne prone skin, so I have to do the extra steps to make sure my makeup stays on. I also don't typically use a foundation primer because I'm acne prone. I find that most primers actually just irritate my skin or cause breakouts. Um, that's just a personal thing. I have used them, I can use them, but I don't typically. So to get my makeup to stay on, I just have to do those extra steps. Um, feel free to try it. I would love to know down in the comments box below if you guys try this foundation tip and trick, um, especially for long wear makeup in the summer. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday. In the description box will be my Instagram for daily posts, my Etsy account if you'd like to support my crafty adventures, and my Sensi account if you need some Sensi and I'll catch you guys on the next one.